CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Victoria's fundraising phenom and hometown hero has had quite a week, a difficult one and a gratifying one. Since CTV News first brought you Monday night the news about Janice Edroff's struggles with her health and the health care system, the offers of support have poured in. The issue is a second opinion before Janice has more surgery that could leave her unable to walk. And her family is touched by the support you have shown. But what the Edroffs hope is that all this attention will bring a change in provincial policy on experimental treatment and individual assessment. CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports. You've probably heard of her. She's raised millions of dollars for the community here in Victoria. Vancouver Island's favorite young philanthropist took her story to the airwaves this morning. I require uh, back surgery, but my back doctor left me with I won't walk again. By now, you likely know the situation Janice is in. And I want that second opinion from the Mayo Clinic. A specialized clinic may be able to treat her back and save her mobility, but provincial policy means she'll have to pay for it out of pocket. And has Victoria ever stepped up to give back to her? The news spread like wildfire through a community that fell in love with the little girl with a big heart. We're going to cover off the cost for Janice and her family to travel down to the Mayo Clinic. She's not only touched the hearts of Victorians, but she's part of their family. And her family is humbled at the show of support. I mean, and it's very difficult for our family to have to have and ask for help when we prefer to give. I'm the person who rather give than receive. I'm one who just is that way. She really understands what it's like to be sick and um, frustrated. Sylvia's story brought Janice a donation from her grandmother. Her idea, Mayama, was that if everybody just chipped in and if everybody gave what they were able to, then we could make a difference in, in Janice's life. Janice's mother understands why the province has guidelines. If they didn't have those in place, then everybody would be going down to the states because they just don't want to wait for care here. Both the Premier and the Health Minister say they are reaching out to Janice's physicians to see what, if anything, the province can do to help. But Janice's orthopedic surgeon is out of town until next week, so right now there's no indication of when that connection might happen. And therefore, Janice and her family really don't know when they might hear from the province if it can help. And I'm hoping that by um, the public's reaction to it, that the Health Minister will have another look at it. Stephanie Sherlock joins us now live with more Stephanie in typical fashion. The Edrops want everyone to remember that they're not the only family in this situation. That's right, Hudson. Janice's mom says they are definitely a family in crisis right now, but they aren't the only one. She says it's difficult enough for families to deal with what the doctors are telling them, and of course in their case, that Janice may not walk again after that operation, and that families shouldn't have to argue with the province as well. All right, Stephanie Sherlock, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we remind you again tonight that Island Savings Credit Union has established a trust account that will help Janice and her family make that trip to the Mayo Clinic. When and if that happens, supporters poured into the Island Savings Branch in Nanaimo this afternoon to donate. The establishment of the fund came after an Island Foundation had stepped forward early yesterday offering to pay the entire cost. But Vancouver Islanders want to help too and give back to the Edroffs. That little girl has done so much to help others that I, could, I just, I'm sorry, I just had to do something. Um, and uh, look, I'm a very fortunate person myself. Uh, I received a liver transplant seven years ago, and um, it alters your life. And whenever I can help someone, uh, I usually go out of my way if I can. And in this case, uh, I couldn't get here fast enough. Donations to Janice's Trust Fund can be made at any Island Savings Credit Union branch on Vancouver Island.